Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a requested video which is all about the Dolce & Gabbana Pore Femme and the Pore Femme Intense version that's recently come out. If you're new here then welcome to my channel. It's all perfumes, perfumes every week, perfume content. So do subscribe if you are a fellow perfume fan like me. So in the past Dolce & Gabbana did have like a signature scent that came in a red bottle um, like red packaging and it was very heavy and intense and when Pour Femme came out I think a lot of people thought it was going to be that exact same thing again and it isn't and it's really easy for people to get confused between the two so that old one is gone and um, not available so what does Pour Femme smell like? This is actually a sweet perfume you know it's pinky red to represent the sweetness the kind of sweetness is like a raspberry marshmallow with a load of vanilla in as well. So imagine like going into a cupcake shop where they've got marshmallow going on, they've got sweet raspberry and then vanilla, like chocolatey vanilla cupcakes are happening. So when you spray it at first, you really do get that hit of sweetness. In the dry down, some of the heart notes and base notes do come through. So there's a sandalwood base, and then there's a pretty floral heart of jasmine, neroli, orange blossom, which stops this from being 100% sweet. So that woodiness and that floralness do help it last and make it sophisticated, but fundamentally this is like a raspberry marshmallow vanilla surprise. <laughs> So the intense version that came out is more intense as you'd expect. Um, the raspberry is gone so in, and so is the vanilla so it's basically just like marshmallow and then the woody note plays a bigger role. You've then got the florals, orange blossom, tuberose, a little bit of citrus in the first of like orangey citrus but predominantly it's like sandalwood marshmallow. So this is like quite sweet nighttime syrupy version of the original. I I've heard people describe this as like if velvet had a smell it would be like this and I think that deep royal red, think red velvet, I think this is nice for night time, it's quite sensual and sexy. It almost has like a makeup-y hairspray to both of them, like you know how makeup, like eyeshadow has a smell, lipstick has a smell, like it's kind of like that, um, it's uber uber feminine and I actually really quite like both of them, it's a bit different for Dolce & Gabbana to have such a sweet one and it's not what I expected from these before I smelled them, um, but actually I think it's a way of getting sweet but still getting it in a uh, sophisticated way, it doesn't smell cheap or girly, it smells womanly but sweet and gourmand and edible. So let me know if you've worn either of these two, what you think. Um, as always, I'll link them down below so you can check them out, as well as my other Dolce & Gabbana videos. But if you found this review helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it so much. And thank you, as always, for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!